Well, it's a sign of love, a symbol of commitment, and can be very expensive. But what happens to an engagement ring if you don't make it to the altar? Anastasia's ex wants the diamond back, and now the old flames have found themselves in court. Anastasia Sulios was already happy. She didn't want to get engaged, and she certainly didn't see this 18 carat white gold diamond ring coming. He gave me this letter, and there was a proposal at the end of it, and then the ring came out, and I was just gobsmacked. Anastasia Sulios and Con Hatsis first met at high school in Melbourne's southeast. After reconnecting later in life, they got together. And to put Anastasia's claim in her own words, he sucked her in. He sort of sold the life, sold the fairy tale to me. So why did the engagement get called off? There was other women around. Did I catch him doing it? No. But there was women popping up all the time. We tried to contact Con today for comment, but he wasn't home. Con did tell Nine's Age newspaper that he denied being unfaithful while engaged. Whatever happened, after a six-month engagement, they were over. And after putting a ring on it, Con now wants the ring back, taking his fight all the way to the County Court of Victoria. What a drama. What an unnecessary drama. According to Con's county court claim, the pair got together early 2020 and after a break around December, he says in January 2021, they got back together. On February 19, 2022, Con popped the question. Didn't say anything. I said, I don't know. And then that night I actually said yes. As well as the ring, Con is going after his ex fiancee for this pair of diamond solitaire earrings and diamond tennis bracelet, which he claims were also engagement gifts. Anastasia denies that claim. The bracelet and the earrings were given to me for Christmas of 2021, um, and I've got photos to prove that. And the, we didn't get engaged till the 19th of February of 2022. And you have a photo here of the bracelet and earrings from Boxing Day 2021. Correct. So this is proof you were given that for months, Christmas. Yeah. Months prior. Correct. But he's saying that this was part of the engagement. That can't be right. Court documents reveal Con is suing Anastasia, claiming to have suffered loss and damage in the sum of $101,035. And he's lost the ability to resell the goods. How do you feel about saying yes now? Yeah, it was a big mistake. It's pretty broken at the end of the relationship. Anastasia admits she broke the ring two months after they got engaged, but says she had it repaired before he wanted the jewellery back. When he proposed, did you consider the ring a gift? Yes, I did think it was a gift, yeah. And I did gift him a watch as well, which he's still got, as an engagement gift. What Con's court document doesn't mention, according to Anastasia, is the tag watch she gave him, worth $9,500, or the weekend away for his birthday that cost Anastasia $3,000, or the New Year's Eve party at Melbourne's lavish Voudemont restaurant, about $2,000, or the Tom Ford sunglasses Anastasia bought him, she says, for about $800. And I spent another five grand at Calibre buying him clothes and stuff. So that's about 20 grand that I can just think of off the top of my head. She's now made a counterclaim in the court case between her and Con, seeking payment for the tag watch she gave him. So do you want the jewellery? I have offered the ring back last week because I don't want it, I'm never going to wear it. Do you want the earrings and the bracelet? Well, they're mine, unless he wants to pay me for all the presents that I bought him. Sometimes you just don't get the fairy tale ending, do you?